Hi and welcome back. In today's video, we learn how to create this one page slider animation using Figma and its prototyping tool. Let's get started. All right, to begin, you can go to the description of this video and download this exercise file and open it in Figma. But in this exercise file, you can find assets for this tutorial, navbar, a card, couple of buttons, and four cards images. All right, let's go and create a new page. And let's pick the frame tool and pick MacBook Air frame size. All right, now let's go to assets and copy and paste the navbar, align to top and left and right constrain. Also, let's go and add a text. Let's pick XO, hit the K key and scale up to pick 100 font size, command C and command V to copy. Also, Carol said, all right. So we have created two text layer, one for each word. And let's pick the frame and let's group those two inside a frame and make sure it has no field color. All right. Next, let's go and pick this four cards and let's pass them here outside of our frame, center everything. I'm going to rearrange this like that. One in the bottom and four in the top. And then let's select this and move them on top of the text frame. All right. And let's go and select just the first one and rotate. Then let's select the third, rotate the opposite way. And the last one, rotate like that. You want to create a slight effect of cards rotating. All right. Now let's go here in our arrow button, copy and paste here, move it to the bottom. All right. So here we go. Now I want to command C and command V and let's rename this starter or let's rename it opener screen and this one screen one all right so for our opener screen i'm gonna start my animation from here and for this i'm gonna move this to the top want to create some effect of all my elements will reveal rotate this and move it to the bottom all right this also to the bottom move them inside that frame for the text so this is the reason we have created or uh, group it, our text inside the frame to move the text inside the frame. All right, now let's go to prototype and connect this one with this. After delay, let's 
smart animate gentle and 2000 millisecond let's put that to zero and let's see what effect we have all right so we have this nice smooth uh, revealer of our compounds all right that was for the starting animation next let's duplicate this frame here we have screen 2 so in this frame once we click on this button we have this going up the first cut so let's rotate to the left and move up to move up you can use the arrow of your keywords otherwise if you move with your mouse click and move up um, the image gonna go out of the frame and it will not create the uh, right effect all right now let's go to prototype and connect it with this frame on click smart animate gentle and 2000 millisecond let's go and select preview all right if i click boom we have a nice effect all right now let's do it for four cards or our remaining cards so we have duplicated screen tool and let's go rotate and move up also command C command V rotate and move up all right now let's connect this one on click and keep the default setting also for that let's go to presentation excuse me all right great now for our last image let's go to design and here we need to create um, other elements so we can move to the next animation once this um, the, this image will move up we're gonna reveal other text all right now we want to create Let's say learn more. Let's pick regular text or medium. Command C and Command V. Learn more about Figma. And let's this. Let's make this. You know the color of the uh, the bottom. It is F five six two twenty six C. All right, like this like that. And let's go and let me create this one word for each text layer because we need to add some element between each um, text layer. Like that. All right now between those two texts I want to add 
a rectangle shape something like that abstract shape that has let's say a light blue also between this and that let me center this so please bear with me you're gonna see this is a really cool effect let's copy this image fill and pass it here all right also command c command v for this circle and let's make it small like that copy and paste one two and three like that and let's replace it with this image field I'm just copying the fill image and pass it here command C and command V all right now let's select those four circles and let's go here tidy up and let's go minus 25 all right now here we have this okay move this like that maybe something like that all right now let's move this make it circle and opacity zero so we need to hide those elements and only keep the text then once we animate we'll rebuild them also for this let's make it let's rotate and give it a layer opacity zero also for those four layers let's go and give them 40 pixels space between and zero opacity then in the next screen let's copy and paste the screen once we click here we'll move this let's rotate move up all right then this will move up like that and let's select everything here and move up here but let's make it like that all right and let me show you let's go and reframe so let's go to prototype well the first one let's connect this all right on click let's move to this screen let's see what happened so if I click boom all right and now we're gonna create another animation to reveal all the elements we've created so in this screen copy and past let me go back because I'm going a bit faster I hope you are following along with me so I copy this screen and then let's go and move this here and let me reveal all right 
right here is my rectangle let's go 100 move it here and let's resize it to become a pill also here we have an image there opacity 100 rotate till zero and let's move this like that all right and then let's go and for the four image opacity 100 and this will be minus 25 all right maybe we move also select this we move it like this and move also the four image beside it now let's make something different will not uh, to make this animation we'll not use this button we'll just make transition from this screen to the other with an after delay animation zero and 2000 milliseconds so we don't need to click on anything to have this animation from this screen to that screen so let's go and start from the beginning all right in two three four we have this animation then we wait we get this all right it's super great now let's go and and this screen let's all right let's recrop like that or give it some height space and let's go and create our next elements so here we go let's bring this card and those two buttons command C let's bring them here outside of my frame and here let's go create another text and with each line will be separated in one text layer then with fun and with fun make something and Figma and Figma with our video tutorials and just a placeholder text Let's select all the text and let's make them uppercase. All right. And the space will be like that. And for the size, it will be 70. All right. And also, I want to, I uh, mean, Group each text inside the frame so I can, as you can see here, wrap my text inside the frame so I can create a cool effect. I mean, let me move it right here manually inside the frame. Let's create one last frame like this and move my text yeah all right so it's each text is inside the frame so i can 
make this effect all right I can hide my text in the edges of my frame so now let me bring those two buttons inside here all right and also for the cards let's bring this here command c command v duplicate and i will create two rows each row has four cards let me give this frame more space see command v like that and copy and paste everything and move it like that to the top so we create two rows then let's go to plugins free pick and let's change those images Let's go and pick the image rectangle and let's change it to this. Also, this one. And I'm gonna pick some uh, image with a background color, so it's gonna be a little bit dynamic. This will make uh, our um, effect pop. All right, let's, uh, let's pick, you know, yeah, the yellow is great, the yellow background. Also for this, this green is nice and for the last one let's pick this pink one all right now let's select all these four on the right and let's move them to the top frame Till it hides so if we unclip as you can see we have those and move it and make sure it doesn't go out the images or the cards will be will still be inside screen 6 so to make sure clip or unclip to see where the cards are if the cards go out of the frame, we lose our animation effect. Now for this row, let's move it to the bottom. All right. Next here, let's select all the layers inside the frame and move them to the bottom until they hide. And that's it. Now let's clip content, reframe and then copy and paste now here let's go like that in this frame let's select everything move them to the top like that that they disappear now in clip content move those cards like that and then let's go and select the text and reveal like that also select the text and the buttons and maybe maybe for this one make sure it, it's revealed all the way 
make sure it is in the center of its of its frame and move this to the center like that all right now for this four cards let's move them up you know something like that also make sure this nav bar is on top so let's go selected and bring to front now end clip or clip content and let's go here and crop again now let's see how our animation work let's connect this on click smart animate and let's keep gentle 2000 millisecond let's play all right great let's let's click that's super nice once again click we have nice gallery then we have text reveal it and a cool animation click again we have this nice now we want once we click here we have those image moving this to the top and this to the bottom all right this is super simple to make so also let's continue with the same logic command c and command v to duplicate select the four cards move this to like that something like that move this slightly to the top i mean let's go and select all the four let's move this until this bottom edge is repeated well, let's keep it something like that reframe let's also command c and command v also select those four boom the four cards on the left move to the top and this four frames move them to the bottom like that all right now let's go and connect this on click let's move to that screen and keep the default settings also here like that and for the last one i would love to connect it with the first screen to go back and create a loop animation all right yeah this second screen or screen one on click smart animation all right now let's go and play from the beginning all right now if we click we have this great moving click again let's go back on top one more time all right thank you so much and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and i'll see you in another video